Why are we still going to the United Nations as Africans? That is a useless entity. It's not for us. The largest voting bloc in the United Nations are the African nations. We don't have a seat on the table. Why do we go there? We go to the United Nations to vote on their issues. They pay African countries yes. or oh, vote with us on this issue. Vote with us on this issue. Mm -hmm. We have no business going to the United Nations, period. Right. We need to tell uh, mm -hmm. Secretary Guterres, mm -hmm. thank you very much, right. but we're no longer mm -hmm. going to attend mm -hmm. United Nations. It's not our entity right. until we have true representation. representation there. Goodbye. All right. That is true sure. with every engagement with the West. All right. For example, Zimbabwe and many other African countries, the remains of our ancestors who they murdered mm -hmm are still sitting in jars mm. in their countries. Why are we going to engage them? Right. We want those remains returned mm -hmm. with repercussions. Right. Until that's happened, everybody from your country, out. Mm -hmm. If you were from a uh, Portuguese <laughs> uh, colony, all Portuguese, get out of my country. I love it when, remember when uh, uh, there was this rift between President Mugabe and, uh, and Prime Minister Tony to Blair. And Blair was like, we're coming to take all the British out of Zimbabwe. We're airlifting them. And the response President Mugabe was, listen, I've given all my police and, and military that if you see any British citizen that wants to get out, escort them to the nearest exit point. Mm -hmm. Get out. If we can just make that position, your government is abusing us. Your government is refusing to give us back our ancestors, the remains of our ancestors who they mm -hmm. murdered. Your government is refusing to give us back right. our, our artifacts, mm -hmm. precious artifacts, mm -hmm. priceless, mm -hmm. that they, they stole. Right. Until these wrongs, these blatant wrongs are righted, every British citizen mm -hmm. get out. Right. Every Portuguese citizen get out. Mm -hmm. Every German citizen get out. Let's see how quickly things will They'll change. They'll move from there. It I, is those citizens. Right who are mm -hmm. going to now go to their government yes. and say, we didn't know you were doing yes. that. Yeah. Let me make this point clear. The citizens do not know oh. of the crimes that are being committed yeah. by their government. Right. So let's put the power back to mm -hmm. the people. True. Let's remind the people mm -hmm. that every constitution starts with we, the people. people. So let's make those citizens, they must, su they must succeed in right. their civic duties. Right. We, the people, are the ones who are failing. Mm. Let's come together. Let's understand the mm. issues. And so for those of us who are elders, who are in the know, we have a responsibility to educate and inform. Mm. Once the citizens are empowered with knowledge and the understanding of what is really going on, mm. I do know for a fact, the average citizen of the world wants a righteous world, a world that is free mm. of hate, racism, bigotry. Right. That's what the average citizen wants. Right. 